Are you hungry? We got the cure for that. Are you thirsty? We've got the cure. Are you just bored and you want some entertainment? We've got the cure. <laughs> Hi, I'm Morgan Chokera, and I'm a co-owner of the Cure Kitchen and Bar in Regina, Saskatchewan. We all work together at the Artful Dodger, which was a different restaurant in Regina. And the owners of that restaurant decided to retire. They wanted to get out of the restaurant industry, and we had an opportunity to sort of build something of our own, which is something that individually we had thought about a lot. We've all worked in the service industry for so long that you know you learn the, the things you really love and the things that you wish where you were working would do differently and the things that you wished you could build all in one space. So we have an all day menu that runs seasonally, so it's around for three, four months at a time. And it's got all the classics on it, you know, your meaty sandwiches, your homemade burgers, that kind of stuff. But then we also do an evening menu that changes every month, and that allows our chef and his team to be really creative. I'm Alain Lopez Baileys. I'm the head chef at the Cure Kitchen and Bar. So I was born and raised in Mexico, uh, a city called Obregón instead of Sonora, border with Arizona. I moved to Canada when I was 18, and I started cooking professionally when I was 20. I always loved food. Uh, I always loved watching my grandparents, and my grandmas, and my mom cooking, but I never thought I would be doing this for a living until I got into the kitchen for the first time, and everything started there. I loved it. I just want customers to feel happy. We make everything from scratch. We love, we care about the food, we respect the food, and, I, and like we hope to transmit that to the customers. So when they come, they're happy and they're happy to come back. A lot of the partners, there's four of us, and a lot of us are either very involved in the music and art scene as a patron or else involved as an artist or a performer. So that community has always been very important to all of us. And coming from the Artful Dodger, that place was a well-known venue. They have put on everything from music to poetry to political conferences. You could do absolutely anything in that space. So we really wanted to keep that alive bring that down to the new space and continue not only to support the community, but also to be a part of it and to, to just embrace it in downtown Regina. And our events have really dictated to some of the different groups that come in here, which is one, one thing that I really enjoy about having the events because we'll have, you know, we have a Latin DJ night that's really popular. And then the next weekend we'll have a punk show. And then one evening there's a jazz band in here. So you bring in all these different groups of people and you can cater to all of them and you can have them all enjoy the same space. You don't really have to turn away anyone, <laughs> which is really nice and it's really fun to see so many different groups in here enjoying the space as much as we do.